Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Uh, Jacob, one of the uh, believers had a question on 2 John 1. Who is the chosen lady? Thank you for your question. This has been discussed and debated actively for many, many centuries. There are three possibilities. One, he was writing to a particular home church, likely in Asia Minor, where the church was meeting in the home of a particular woman, and she had children's sons, biological sons, offspring, who were believers. That is the first. The second is, the lady is the body of Christ, that is, the bride of Christ, and her children are the believers. That is the second view. The third view is, it is both. It is a literal lady with literal children who are believers, but who are used as a representation of the church, the body of Christ. So those are the three views. No one knows for sure. No one knows for sure. What we do know for sure, however, is the doctrine that is taught in it. Now, he gives specific instructions, very specific instructions, that he's speaking to a specific local church. I was glad to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we've received commandment to you from the Father. I ask you, lady, not as though I were writing to you a new commandment, but the one which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another, and so forth. Then he goes on to warn about deceivers have gone into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. He's warning about an incipient docetism, an incipient docetism, that Jesus only appeared to be human. When he'd walk on the beach, he'd not leave footprints in the sand, something of that nature, writing against an incipient docetism in the first century. We just don't know. It seems to me the most likely probability the most likely one is it was a specific local congregation that is representative of the body of Christ at large, the bride of Christ at large. It, however, is not ambiguous. It is unambiguous in what it is saying and in the doctrine that it is teaching. That is clear cut and it applies to all churches and to all believers for all time, irrespective of to whom the original autograph was specifically addressed and intended. This also could have been a polemic against early docetism, the idea that Jesus only appeared to be human. John is addressing that in his second epistle, and it is not unlikely he is addressing an incipient docetism in his first, those who are denying the literal physical incarnation of Jesus as flesh and blood, as water and blood, etc., that is an aspect of the text. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.